Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this very quick tip I want to talk to you about convertible door braces that they offer on the market today which is uh, kind of tough to find. Some people don't know how to uh, or where to look for these things and uh, many times they're making their own braces um, to weld inside the car cabin uh, but what you see here is a door brace okay that attaches at the front hinges okay and then it attaches then here where the striker plate would go as you see right there right now anytime you're doing structural work like we're doing here on this convertible which is support rails and heater channel bottoms okay the tops of the heater channels were actually okay on this convertible okay so inside the upper the top part was actually okay it was the bottom uh, plate and the support rails that were completely rotted uh, because the car was basically sunken in the mud when we went to go find the car so um, we found this car in upstate New York and uh, basically on the side of a guy's driveway sunk in the mud uh, so I figured okay the heat the heater channels themselves are not that bad okay so you see like even on the other side straight across they're okay even on the inside not too bad it was just the underneath but regardless you have to whether you're doing heater channels the bottoms the rails whatever and anytime you even take the body off the chassis you need these braces because if you re if you look at it the car is almost in two pieces right so if you let me see if I can get some better light here for you you know if you didn't have heater channels in the car this car is in two pieces so it is crucial that you get these braces now I've seen guys you know we've done it in the past too where you they're bracing the car, you know, inside, and they're welding it to, uh, you, know, the, you know, the inner firewall and uh, the back uh, luggage area. But you can buy these braces. No welding is required, and it bolts already up to your hinges and to your striker plate uh, area. So where do I get these? There's a one guy that I know of. Um, if there's more people that do sell them, please let me know. But I know of one guy, and it is Bug Stuff in Pennsylvania. So if you do Bug Stuff on a Google search in PA, um, I, I believe it's bugstuffonline.com. It's not just bugstuff.com. So uh, go there and you buy these. They're about a hundred bucks for the pair and about thirty dollars to ship or so. And you can get them from basically, um, I guess, sixty-eight and later to, um, and then they have sixty-seven and earlier. So there's going to be a difference. You know, there's earlier bars and there's uh, later bars. So, but a very good kit. Uh, very, it is necessary to 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 do. Uh, to get and to attach to your shell as you are restoring it. Um, it's uh, crucial because you want to keep the integrity of the car. You want to make sure these doors line up okay. And because uh, convertibles are notorious for bending and flexing over over time. So, okay guys, so that's a quick tip for today. Get the bug stuff bars, okay? The support braces for your convertible beetle. And uh, that's it. If you got any uh, questions, pop me an email or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care.